2021 has been a crazy year, much like the last. And once again, I come with an end of the year video to summarise the things I've been doing and maybe what others have been doing because I've been trying to keep up with what's going on in the world, mainly in terms of gaming and YouTube. So for instance, I already know like basically some games coming next year that I really want to play that I've been waiting for for ages. Hopefully Hollow Knight Silk Song. Hopefully. But definitely Elden Ring. I think that's my most anticipated game for next year. So maybe even of all time because Elden Ring looks absolutely amazing. It looks phenomenal. But anyway, uh, once again, I have a lack of videos this year. In fact, I only made one video this year, not counting this one. And that was on Monster Hunter and how I got into it. Again, this year my motivation was just not working, so I slacked on a lot of video projects, in fact deleting a few ideas. For instance, I really wanted to make a critique of Celeste, but due to the lack of motivation, I binned it. But that being said, I do still have some ideas which I'll talk about after the art recap for this year. Which, yes, I do have an art recap for this year. And within the art recap, I will talk about some intros that I've made and pr possibly used in the past, and some branding changes I've made to my brand. And so starting off, I made a drawing for my birthday, a fairly goofy take on my character as I turned 21 this year. It was hastily drawn because I wanted to get it out there. But as you can see, there are some additional things on my character, like wings and a tail, because in my lore, yes, I have lore, my avatar is related to dragons. And even though I use this character, I've been thinking of switching to a different character in my universe to personify me online. Moving on to something way different, shortly after, I drew a cartoony version of the Jack Frost theme from Megami Tensei. It's specifically based on the Shin Megami Tensei version, it's a lot slimmer than the actual illustrations, and there was quite a noticeable mistake that I didn't see at the time, which is the hat cutting off the collar thing as it's transparent, where it should show the collar. Anyway, to the side of him I added a smash-like stock icon for him, because I think at the time I thought it would be cute to do that. I think for the most part this one was pretty decent. Next up is a very simple but cute one, it's a Takodachi, which is a Hololive English creation from Inanis, or Ninamai Inanis, or Ina, as she calls her fans Takodachis, or Tacos for short. The reason why I wanted to draw this is because I really like Ina and got into her channel the most when the whole VTuber thing really popped off. I think Ina is my favourite member because of her tone very calm and collected and well of course I like all of Hololive I think all the talents are good in their own way but I resonate with Ina the most this next one is probably the most obscure of the batch because I wanted to do fan art of an artist her name online being Yitsu Melody I really enjoy looking at her drawings and thought hey I should make some fan art. It's funny because I was thinking of doing some years ago when I first became acquainted with her content, but I was so terrible at art. And then years later I actually did it. Although it's certainly a far cry from the quality I wanted, I really wanted to try and do a proper anime art style, but it just didn't work well, so I ended up making this. I'm not saying it's terrible, certainly better than what I can do years ago, it, it requires or needs a lot of improvement to get to where I actually wanted to be. As it was Metroid's 35th anniversary this year, I really wanted to make an anniversary drawing. That's what this is, and I really tried to make it something a bit more challenging for me. So I put Ridley in, which to me is quite a complex design, and 
I tried mimicking the Super Metroid design. I also tried mimicking the font they used in the game. Just to say, I really love Metroid as a series and what it has done to gaming to get me where I am now. Because if it wasn't for Metroidvanias, then I doubt Hollow Knight would exist, which is my favourite game of all time. And really changed my perspective on gaming as a whole. So I do think Metroid has a place in my heart and is my favourite Nintendo series. Heck, Metroid Prime is one of my favourite games. I loved Metroid Dread. I thought it was an amazing experience for me. I think I think it was like at, up there with the greats of Nintendo. Don't at me. For my Halloween drawing, I didn't really have any good ideas. So instead, I defaulted to drawing my favorite dragon from one of my favorite game franchises of all time, Calamite from Dark Souls. Stylistically, it's extremely different from all my other drawings, as I really wanted to emphasise form and the orange that inspired my branding. I believe Calamite is part of my branding because the eye from the Ring of Calamity and his eye is what I really loved about his design, and so I made him the forefront of my design. Of course, I had to slide the dark sign into the drawing somehow, because it's what represents Dark Souls. Finally, for the artwork, I wanted to end with a Christmas drawing. And thus, I drew a Santa Knight. I, I guess that's what I'll call it. The design of it is nothing special. I wanted to incorporate the typical things you would see in a Christmas drawing, like the hat, sack, and Christmas colours. There are a few details I should point out, the most obvious is the pose. This is a reference to Berserk and references Guts pose if you was to have a look at the manga and anime and whatever. Another detail is the emblem on the chest piece, which is supposed to be a reference to a deer that I drew in last year's Christmas drawing. Finally, I wanted to include a small nod to my favourite Elder Dragon, Valstrax, in the form of a small red star. I've created a lot of intros throughout the last year or two, and most became either unused or underutilised. This is because a lot of them just don't represent my current branding, two of them do, but I'm using the last one because it's very straight to the point. It gets to the point very quickly. No bullshit. Just getting straight to it. And so that's why I'm using the last one. I could use the one before it. But I have created something new. Which I will talk about in the next section. So, I will now play each intro individually, and I will move on to the next section after the last one has played. Enjoy. Branding is pretty important to a business, but I decided to make branding early for my content and make a minimalist approach much like most modern brands. You've already seen this on my Twitter and this YouTube channel. I have an actually good looking logo which is used in basically everything I create as you've probably seen in, my, in some of my artwork. But very recently, I decided to make a custom font for my brand, which is described by one of my friends as Kingdom Hearts-like, which I can see why this is. The main reason why I wanted to make a font for my brand is because I wanted to be a bit more unique with my brand. The font is pretty wacky looking, so I'll 
perform a rundown and what exactly I put into it. So what I was mainly going for in this font was a mix of medieval representation and Metallica. Uh, Metallica being the band. Because over the past few months I've been listening to their music and I've noticed they have quite an interesting logo they use. So I wanted to replicate it using the C at the start. I made the font sharp and pointy like the end of a blade because it represents the type of weaponry and games I like to use in them slash play like Dark Souls, Monster Hunter, uh, Hollow Knight, games like that basically. Warhammer, that's a good game. I haven't played it much. Anyway, um, the eyes look like candles, which leads credence to the medieval look. And the N used in night is supposed to be a coffin, representing death. The A has a slight arc to it, making it resemble an archway. And finally, the most obvious, I converted a T at the end of night into a sword, which is typical of what knights use. This font is supposed to represent me in it, as well as having a bit of a cartoony feel. This is how my brand will be for quite a long time, as I suspect it may change slightly through time. With all that being said and done, what is next for my channel? Well, I do have some video ideas that I want to try and make, like some gaming content like Monster Hunter, Dark Souls and other games. I may also review some obscure games. I do want to try and make a video on the website known as danball.jp, which is the most famous for Powder Game and Stick Ranger. I'm also thinking of getting back into music, as I believe I have got a way better since last year in terms of singing. I am unsure when I'll be doing any of this, but I'll try my best to get the motivation to do it like this video if you liked it maybe give it a like comment your thoughts down below and if you dislike it well only I can see the dislikes so what's the point seriously bring back dislikes how am I meant to tell whether a video is bad or not anyways I'll see you next time where I get slapped by an oarfish bye